Hey guys, Dave Dean here. Uh, just doing another uh, video. Um, I actually went to a sound quality uh, competition today, a Mecca uh, sound quality competition. I actually didn't even know there was one in Edmonton, but there was one today. Um, I was just Googling things to do in Edmonton this morning, or actually this afternoon. And uh, basically uh, found out there was like they had an SBL competition and uh, and the sound quality competition today uh, in Edmonton. And they had it at uh, FX Audio. So basically, um, yeah, I, I entered it. I was like, you know what? Why not? I missed uh, the first part of it because I didn't get there until like, uh, I don't know, one thirty or something like that. Um, so I missed the install part of it. Um, but as you can see, if you look back at my score there, uh, I got an 82.5, right? And this is the first competition that I competed in, God, since I was probably like in, in my, uh, you know, I was like 18, 19, 20 years old back when I used to compete in Iaska. Uh, but this was like Mecca. And uh, they have another one uh, tomorrow in Red Deer. Uh, Alberta, right? They had, I missed, uh, I guess they had like three in Saskatchewan, um, I think last month or yeah, June and July or something like that. And I missed though. I didn't even know anything was going on because I thought for COVID reasons, uh, um, there was nothing really going on with for that kind of stuff, right? But uh, yeah, so I might go down to the one in Red Deer tomorrow anyway. So as you all know, my system's not com like fully complete. Um, I still have to sound deaden a bunch of different areas in the back of my vehicle. Um, and obviously I have uh, the A-Trans box there, right? Uh, but my system is tuned. And uh, as you can see from that score, it's a pretty high score for Mecca, right? And um, basically it was, it was uh, what I was thought, like what I thought was my base is obviously my weakest link. I have, a, I have an amazing front stage. It's just uh, uh, the bass part of it, right? Um, which is which I already knew, right, going into there. Um, it's still, the bass still sounds good, but in order to compete in like sound quality, um, obviously I have to do it, I have to do my subs in a proper box. But it's obviously, if you look at that score, that's a really high score, right? Um, these guys, these guys judge for the world right as well and um you know i don't know i don't know if i'm not, <laughs> i'm supposed to say this or anything like that but he said i'm like right up there right because i was asking him i was like like because you're trying to improve your vehicle right um i said i have the gb 25s at home and i was going to do them in the eight pillars right and both of them said they both listed my vehicle right both judges um the original judge that scored it um when he listened to it uh, he said the same thing, you know, keep what you have. You have an amazing, amazing soundstage, like front soundstage, right? Um, and, uh, same thing when I was, when I was, uh, leaving, the other judge wanted to listen to the car too. So he listened to it as well. And, and the same thing, it's like, you don't, you don't need those mids. Your, your front stage is like really good as it is. Right. Um, so I always listen to what people say, like, uh, obviously they're professional judges, right? So you kind of, that's kind of one of the reasons, cause I wasn't even going to do it today. I was like, you know what, let's, let's just go in there. I haven't been to an event for like forever. Um, and I just did the sound quality portion. Um, so that was overall, I came in first, right? Um, and then I got this other thing. It's like, I came in second because I didn't, I never, I wasn't there this morning for the install part of it, right? And honestly, I don't have any, I don't have a book or anything on my install or, you know, I don't have pictures because obviously to get to the battery of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, you gotta go out, you gotta take the seat out and then I take the pictures of that. And honestly, my in, the install in here is fairly basic for the most part. Uh, you guys seen my AMBRAC and some of my other videos and stuff like that. It's not like, you know, show car install. Uh, it will be eventually once I, once I get everything done, um, then it'll be show car. But, uh, right now it's not for the install. So I, I was just like, I want to, you know, I want to have these, these guys, uh, judge my car just based on how it sounds now. Right. Um, and they, they said that that's like when I was asking my, I was like, well, is, 
you know, 82.5 if he said that's a re really good score, right? Um, and, but then you have to compete at all the different competitions, right? Uh, if you want to go to the Worlds, um, you got to compete in all the competitions, right? And then, uh, uh, so they do Canada, right? And then whoever places whatever, probably, I don't even know if it's the top three or whatever, go on to the Worlds or whatever it is, right? Um, so I wasn't in stock class, as you can see on here. I was in street class. So basically stock class, um, because I have a Helix DSP Ultra, uh, once you go over 16 bands per channel, then you have to go into street class, right? Um, if I if I had a DSP that was like 16 bands uh, per channel or under, then I could have competed in stock. So I had to go into street class for that, right? So, uh, so it was a pretty cool experience. I got this... Uh, uh, I got this the little dongle uh, USB thing here. So it's got all the IASCA tracks on it for, uh, I think it's the, the last CD was like 2016. Um, and then it's got like uh, uh, the SPL part of it too. And it's got like three different uh, CDs on the one. You could have bought the CDs when I was there specific, specifically for each one. But I was like, you know what? I might as well just do the USB drive because then I can put them on my, uh, on my DAP too after, right? So... Yeah, it was, it was overall, it was a pretty cool experience. And uh, I, I kind of know where I'm at with my uh, vehicle, right? So I'm probably going to get it, you know. And like I said, I might not even go with the mids anymore. I might actually just sell my mids. Um, because it sounds, like I said, it sounds so good already with just separates, right? Just how it is, right? And um, like the old head rep from Moscone, uh, I forgot <laughs> I always forget his name. Bill Freeman, I think it is. I think it might not be Bill Freeman. Maybe it is. I can't remember now. But uh, he showed like back in 2018 when he had those uh, Illusion Audio uh, uh, three-inch mid-range and uh, he had the Focal Flax as a six and a half in his in his uh, his truck and he won, right? Overall sound quality uh, uh, um, in 2018. So you show you can do it with uh, with two speakers, right? Because if I do, if I went and I did put in the mids in there, um, then I would be competing in a different class, right? Um, so basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to soundproof everything in my vehicle, <laughs> right? Every every little niche and cranny. Uh, and that's what I planned on doing anyways, even before I went into this. Because uh, me, for personally, just for driving around, I want I want the best sound quality possible. And uh, uh, for those of you who watch my channel, it's pretty much, you know what I mean? I buy a cord or whatever. I'm just trying to improve the uh, the sound just a little bit. You know what I mean? And I did, uh, you guys probably seen the video I just did on the audio quest cables that I, that I got. Uh, so yeah, so it was a, it was a cool experience. Um, I took a few pictures and stuff like that uh, of some of the things going on there, but I'll, I'll probably do it all combined. Because I'm probably going to head down to Red Deer tomorrow and uh, enter that one. Uh, he told me to enter in for the full event. Um, so do the install part of it too as well. Um, just for a learning experience. So then I know what, what to expect for everything. Right? So even though I'm, I just basically have your, like your regular install done in here. Um, you can still learn a, a lot. And I already know, I already know what I'm going to do in the future anyways i was humming and hawing on what i was going to do with the subs and stuff like that um but i know i'm probably going to go sealed but i'll probably also do a ported box as well but then when i compete i'll just have the sealed subs in there um which i'm probably going to do uh kind of where the amps are right now like in front of that a bit but uh I'm, I, I like ported myself too, like just for like daily drivers and stuff like that. But we'll see once I, once I do the sealed ones and I see how that sounds, uh, if it sounds good enough, then I'll just keep it like that. But I'll, uh, if, if not, um, I mean, sound quality is going to sound better, but like I said, I kind of like ported boxes. So I'm, um, I'm kind of into the ported side of things. So even if I do sealed, I'm always going to have like a ported box that I can throw in there on top. Right. Uh, so when I do my sealed, I'll make sure that I can still put the box in there. And obviously, I'm, I'm going to do a bigger box because, like I said, this box isn't isn't big enough. Uh, it says it still sounds really good. Like, like I was saying before, like for uh, a stock box, basically that's not even meant for the subs, it still does a really decent job. 
uh, of blending in your bass with your mid mid basses, right? Up front. There was a little bit of pull to the back on a couple of tracks. So basically I got I got the tracks on here. I'll probably just do a separate video, play a couple of songs on here after this video of uh, the, the Mecha disc. And uh, give you like guys a few samples of the songs on there. They got some good music on there actually. Some really good songs to uh, show off your system. And then it's got the, some SBL stuff on there uh, as well for like the bass heads. Um, there's a lot, a lot of people there uh, for the SPL part of it too there. There's quite a, I don't know, maybe like 50 people or something um, for the SPL part of it maybe. Some of, there's a lot of cars there. Um, I didn't stay to the very, very, very end uh, just because I had to leave. I got other, had other stuff I had to do. Um, so I didn't stay to the SPL part of it where they're doing hair tricks and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'll catch the, I'll probably catch the whole event uh, tomorrow in Red Deer uh, or most of it, depending on, I think it starts at like 10 o'clock. So anyways, yeah, just, uh, uh, pop on here and uh let you guys first of all let you guys all know you can get uh amazing sound even just with a two-way right don't think that you always have to go three-way because that's what i thought before well in order to have like an amazing sound system you have to have three-way well no that's that's definitely not the case and that right there where is it uh that right there tells you right 82.5 so two way so now you know <laughs> anyways uh i'll do i'll do another video now with uh, a couple of the songs on there uh i haven't even went through the whole thing myself i just basically uh, uh listened to a couple of them but they got some good songs on there and i'll play them for you next all right guys have a good day